Hey, Judy. How you feeling? Shitty, but something came to me. Gotta give yourself time to grieve, Judy. Experience all its stages. Feel them. Let them play out. Shock, anger, depression. I'd say I'm on anger. I'm gonna stay here for a while, too. I can work with anger. So what did you come up with? The mocks dive. Lizzie's bar used to be a joy house. Tiger Claws killed one girl too many, so people took matters into their own hands. Belongs to us now. Clouds could stand to get the same makeover. I'm sure you've thought this through, Judy. Carefully. <laughs> Haven't thought it through at all. All I know is the mocks didn't turn things around by sitting on their tanned and toned asses doing nothing. Got the mocks to agree to take over Clouds. No, I'm trying to get you. Know someone at Clouds will take our side. Will you help? Fine. Got me on board. Oh, yes. Okay, so, what's the plan? First up, we gotta talk to Maiko Maeda. If she's not with us, might as well throw our hands up in the air. Maiko Maeda. Who is she exactly? Girl who unofficially runs Clouds. Good at it, too. What's she do officially? She's a doll, so she's a nobody. You sure Maiko's gonna want to join forces? If I was sure, I'd be on the hollow to her and we wouldn't be having this conversation. Let me rephrase. Is there any chance she'll slap us around and shove us out her mega tower window? Of course, sure. Guess I can work with that. How well do you know this Maiko? Too well. When are we doing this? Early morning. Clouds will be closed. Hardly a soul lurking at that time. How early? Before eight. I'll be by the entrance. Nah, scratch that. The balcony above clouds. We'll sneak in. No one needs to know we're there. On the balcony. Got it. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the stream. We are continuing on with our walkthrough for Cyberpunk 2077. It looks like we've got a message from Pan Am. Let's see what she says. We put in our reply here. All right. Just trying to keep her happy as much as possible. We're going to be doing um, Judy's mission. I've entered the uh, little cutscene that played at the end of my last video that you guys didn't actually see into this, and we're going to continue on. Meet Judy early in the morning, so we'll probably have to wait a little bit, but that's okay. So this is a part of Judy's side quests and missions. President Myers has openly blamed the Republic of Texas for the attack. I don't know who this is. Sure. Hello, we haven't met. I'm Elizabeth. My husband and I, we need a somewhat delicate matter handled. We think you could help. Why am I asking who your husband is? Actually, who are you? I'd rather not discuss details over the phone. Please, meet with us. We'll explain everything. As I said, it's a rather delicate matter. Why call me of all people? Any particular reason? You came recommended. Yeah, who by? I'd rather not say. Not over the phone. Is there any way we could meet? Discuss some details? Yo, 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 my Jewish sure, let's do that. I'll send you the address. See you. Hmm. All right, looks like we also picked up a new mission, okay? So, uh, we've got another side mission that we'll be doing in another video, of course. I'll probably just tackle that uh, cutscene right there at the beginning of that video. See, like I said, sometimes they pop up very randomly and you don't really know when they're going to pop up. And I want to make sure you guys at least get the cinematics that come with them when they actually request for the job instead of just going straight to the job and really not knowing what for. 
So, first thing we're gonna do is, because I've done this mission, and therefore, you know, that's why when we do our walkthroughs, we usually do the missions first, make sure um, we, if it's stealth we need to do, that we know the correct pass, that we do everything we do. A lot of times, you know, I will be going on the fly sometimes. Uh, just depends on how difficult a mission is. Um, if a mission is very, very difficult to stealth, then I'll definitely get to know the mission a little bit and make sure that I do it right. Otherwise, you know, we'll keep it nice and simple. Um, and for the sake of this, what we're going to do is we're going to change to... I don't even know if I actually have a good blade or not, because I did get rid of a lot of the blades. But um, this one is a, th is a 359 damage... 169, that's a 144, so I guess we'll give this a shot. This seems like it's very uh, compatible. Well, we're going to be using this uh, maybe a little bit later on. I think I'm heading up or... Oh, it says I'm heading up. I guess I gotta go... No, because if I just jump... Okay, <laughs> there's there's a ladder right beside me. I don't know why I didn't see that before. Got another one, jeesh. V, how you doing, honey? Listen, got a golden opportunity for you. Word on the streets that when Waco says golden, it's usually a turd wrapped in crepe paper. It's a... Sticky situation. Sticky? Wow, you're really selling this, wacko. Job like any other. Just the clients will demanding. Clients got every right to be demanding. What makes this one any different? Wants everything to go exactly as planned. Willing to break the bank for it, too. Job like this needs your magic touch, V. Anyone less experienced it, just fuck it up. Huh. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Now I'm sure it's a turret in crepe paper. So what's the spec? Caroline Jablonski. Set off any buzzers for you. Murdered in cold blood. Made waves a few years back. They locked the guy up. But now there's a chance he could walk. Jablonski's family wants to balance the scales of justice for good. You'll finish him. So you want me to murder someone? Wait, this isn't the Dalai Lama? Must have gotten the wrong number. You didn't arrive in this pond yesterday, V. You know how the fish gets sliced. The perp being proven guilty, meaning he deserves to die, truly? Do I look like a criminal prosecutor to you? What did he do exactly? I'm not a beat reporter, neither. You want the job or not? All right, I'm in. Good. Client will be waiting for you by a car at the corner of 6th and Brandon. Huh. In a car? Client wants to tag along. Be there in person when you put a bullet through the guy's eye. Good luck. All right, and we just picked up another mission, so wow. They're just coming along now, that we're moving along in the story quite well. <laughs> Looks like we're just gonna wait. Talking with Maiko is like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. Care to be a bit more specific? Wouldn't mind knowing what to expect. Expect everything. Miss a beat, she'll wrap you around her finger. Get you on her agenda while thinking you're the one in control. Ooh. <laughs> Guess I know the type. Some deets about her could be useful when I talk to her. Don't you think? Leave the talking to me. 
How do you aim to get her over to our side? By telling the truth about Evelyn, what happened and why. Think that'll cut it? No. Have to improvise from there. You seem a bundle of nerves. I have a mind to kill the bastards with my bare hands. So yeah, you could say I'm a teensy bit nervous. I'm ready. Let's go. Hold on. I'll open it. I mean, why is she at work at 5 in the morning? And she's been there since last night. That's a hard worker right there. Ah, uh, we just don't know. Looks like you've come this way before. More than once. <laughs> I have. On occasion. Easy as paella. Follow me. Judy Alvarez. I'd say it's great to see you, but I've never been one to lie. Also, I never like surprise parties, but you know. Yep, bet I even know why. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the mocks. Guess you've managed to stoop even lower now. Consorting with a persona who is very non grata. Yes, V. I mean you. <laughs> Guess it left a lasting impression. Good. Paid you one visit, and you remember me. My job, among other things, is to remember unsavory customers. Naturally, I take it upon myself to deal with them, too. Now, how am I to deal with you? Came to Clyde's for info, left with info. All the while, I did my best to make sure no one standing in my way ended up in a garbage bag. Appreciate it. Now, what exactly are you after? Gonna go and harass another doll? Judy has a proposal. About clouds. Wanna come back? Done. I've always valued your skills, you know that. Just don't get why you had to drag this... loose end in here. Stop treating dolls like meat and I'll consider it. But first things first. Clouds needs to be taken from the Tiger Claws. Okay, look. It's clear what happened to Ev was... traumatic. Huh? I was convinced you didn't know. That girl was asking for an unhappy ending. I was just surprised it took so long. We gotta do something! Or everyone will end up like Evie! Woodman raped her while she was unconscious, then sold her like she was so much scrap. Yeesh, you've always been unstable. Okay, since you seem more reasonable, care to explain what this is about? Judy's idea. Think about it. It could work. Well, well, Jude. See, you found a true and loyal fan. You aware what Woodman did to Evelyn when she was desperate for help? You sit by, let that happen? Tiger Claw bosses rule this place. Know how much I mean to them? About as much as you two and your problems mean to me. Read, negligible. Doesn't it make you wonder why you even work here? Gonna pretend as if you two weren't ever here. For old time's sake, Judy. Literally moments from now, security's gonna figure out you're here. Got two options. Go out the way you came in, or get thrown out. And that's not a threat or figure of speech. Just a friendly heads up. Had enough. Unleave it. Smart move. And, so you don't think I'm brushing you off completely, Forrest will be on the maintenance level in a couple minutes. Alone. You picked the wrong side, Maiko. I'll be the judge of that. I'm not your enemy here. And I didn't ask for your opinion.
Make sure there's nothing else that we can actually, uh, you know, pick up. Sure, I'll just go ahead and steal from her without her knowing. It's so different. Unlike a game like Skyrim where you actually have to, like, make sure they don't see you steal. It's so easy to just steal whatever the heck you want in this game and nobody gives, gives two craps about it either. I don't know why the book collection seems to be important, but... Maybe, uh, something could have been a little different. Alright, that looks to be about it. Well, we can maybe look at this computer, yeah? Let you guys take a read of all this here. Just, uh, be the master of your own pausing. See, I'm more of a visual learner, like, I get stimulus from actually, like, having audio diaries. If there was audio diaries in this, I would be stopping and listening to every single one of them. But my ADHD just really doesn't allow me to sit here and read every single file. That went. Totally blew us off. Don't worry. She put on an act. A few days down the line, she'll call and tell you her plan to take over clouds as if it was her idea. You might be on to something. Notice that that's only something you get if you're a corpo. If you're not a corpo, you won't get that option. I mean, there's other ways to go about it. As much as they said that, you know, whatever path you take can be different, I mean, they say something different, but you still get the same results, no matter what you do, really. You two have a history? Way back, yeah. I think I just felt lonely. Like everyone in Night City. She was different then. So was I. All right, can't so trust people to see it will not let me game. climb so we Mind can't actually use that back as their friend and plan a knife in you as their enemy is down to a decimal I know right there with you I well used to have a big crush on her it took me a long time to realize who she really was but still honest or crooked we need her <sighs> just think could have gone diving this morning a little unwinding do you good. Do me good, too, actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding. Not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head, working it, but I can't say if it'll amount to anything. Yeah. You, a deck chair, and a Mai Tai with a cocktail umbrella? Somehow I don't see it. No. Me and the deck chairs, me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid right now. It's weird, sometimes the game will force you to walk this slow, and then all of a sudden it'll make you walk faster, see? It's like, the, and then I'm back to fast again, then probably when she comes, I'm back to slow. There's so many just glitches, those tiny little itty bitty things. I'm back to slow again. It's like if you stand right behind her, you have to move completely slow, see? And nope, then it goes back to fast. Now it's really slow. It's so weird and confusing when it jumps between the two. It makes it hard to walk normally. Wait a sec. What about Woodman? Well, what do you want to do? I want somebody to unload lead into his face till there is no face. Somebody? Fine. Want you to do it. I'm sure he's gonna be there. You met Michael. That prick still works here. It's cause he follows her orders pretty damn precisely. The company has already announced a forceful response. Don't have an ounce of sympathy for that motherfucker. So, we go in there? Damn straight. Let's end them. We'll take the elevator. Quickest way. 
maintenance level. Ah, it's just so crazy when those glitches happen. You know what's worse than a corpo? A wannabe corpo bitch. You mean my go? Piece of work, that one. But I'll give her credit. She's dead on about your chances of pulling this off. CPD has urged caution when using data terms. A routine inspection has shown many have been corrupted with malware. Police experts have confirmed the identified virus can lead to cyberware failure and, in extreme cases, even death. In response to increased gang activity, the mayor's office has raised the public threat level to red. Residents of Arroyo and Watson are advised not to leave their homes after dark. And Remember, this is completely optional. Where's Maiko? Why'd she fucking call me here? Evelyn's dead. Come here just to tell me that. Yeah, fucking kind of you to remember. Here. Go light a candle. When Evelyn needed help, you raped her. Could have also broken her neck. Hung up her head like a chandelier till it started to rot. <laughs> Instead, I took her to a ripper. Must do a little something in return. She should be grateful. And so should you. Hmm. Here's my token of I decided to go with the street bar, that's why I equipped the weapon instead of using an actual gun. Now, as you can see, he is still alive. We did not kill him. He is still completely alive right now. And even she will say, hey, let's just keep going, even though he's still alive and she wanted him dead. So you don't have to kill him. Any blunt weapon that doesn't have a sharp end is a non-lethal weapon. However, since we have our chip, we also have a non-lethal chip in our um, cyberware, which means that everything that we do is non-lethal in the game. Even though I have killed people because of, you know, driving, <laughs> I'm not going for a full-on uh, non-lethal playthrough, but most of the time, every member that you've seen me kill in, say, you know, the, the past, like, 15, 20 videos almost has been non-lethal. Even though it doesn't kind of make sense. Maybe one of these days I'll do a complete uh, lethal playthrough. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see that, of course. safe now. Think of that. They never even know they were in danger. It's nothing. Okay, except nothing I can do if you don't tell me. I mean, that's a good that's a good thing to think about. You know, you, when you know someone is bad and he does the things that he does, it's like minority report. It's like catching someone before they actually commit the crime. Well, he was going to commit a lot more crimes and get away with it. So, I think what we did merited everything, even though he's technically not dead, but obviously in this cyberpunk world, he's no longer. Gotta get back to Michael with something big. 
Appealing to her sense of justice wasn't big enough? Michael only works with specifics. For a minute there, are oh, you about to call it quits? V, I go for days tuning virtues in a basement. Know what the chances are of somebody blowing my head off down there? Minuscule? Same as Michael's empathy. Unlike you, I don't put myself out there. But this ain't over. Not yet. You know, I'm also partial to specifics. Uh-huh. So that's what matters. How many you'll drop. How much ammo you'll use. How many eddies it'll get you. Art and dreams of freedom can't be everyone's food. Sometimes, you gotta deal with the dirt. So, what now? Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. I'll call you when I've got something. See you later, V. You know, I've never really used this, I think, enough. You know what I'm saying? Just, this is the guy she's interacting with. He does look like a real douche, doesn't he? Looks like a corporal douche. Again, although you can change his pose to make him, I guess, not look so... I don't know. He's like, I got a fettuccine. You want some Italian and my CSP? About the fettuccine Alfredo. He's a thinking man. He's like, listen, listen, Judy, I got to take this call. I'll be right back. Even though I got no phone. Must be an earpiece thing he's looking at then. Eddie, soldier. Yes, Judy, sir. <laughs> Judy, I will fight for you to the death. Stop, Judy. Don't take another move. You killed one man. <laughs> oh. It's so. I know, I'm sorry. Let me exit. <laughs> Thanks. All right, well, there you go, ladies and gents. X Factor complete. I believe you have to wait a little bit longer before you get our next mission. But that's going to be it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, you all enjoyed, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.